Alzheimer's is a, called the mind-robbing disease. 120,000 Tennesseans are living with it right now. Well, a bill at the state capitol aims to help by providing free or reduced services for in-home caretakers, including providing some meals. Local 24 News reporter Caitlin McCarthy talked with supporters who are taking their case to lawmakers in Nashville tomorrow. Caitlin? Richard, I lost my own grandmother with Alzheimer's last October. And you're right, it's terrible for the patient and their loved ones. Tonight I spoke with a young woman who's glad there's an effort to help family members who have become caregivers for those battling the disease. Holly Ingram is only 20 years old, not old enough to experience Alzheimer's herself, but it's had an immense impact on her life. That was definitely probably the hardest thing I've ever had to watch. From the time she was a little girl, she saw the disease affect those around her. She and her parents stepping up to keep those they loved at home so they didn't have to go elsewhere for care. Grandma wasn't the same, but Mimi wasn't herself anymore. Her Mimi was her biggest fan, her favorite cook, and someone she wanted to share all of life's moments with. Because you think, oh, Oh, my grandmother, she's invincible. You know, like nothing's ever going to happen to her. And then Alzheimer's sets in and just completely demolishes your brain. The disease took a domino effect from one generation to the next as she saw the memories of her great grandparents, then her grandparents slowly deteriorate. Each generation, including her and her parents, stepping up to do what they could to keep them out of a nursing home. Now, She's bringing the memory of her Mimi and other relatives to the state capitol to vouch for the other families who care for those affected. It's like a pilot program to help pretty much relieve some stress on the caregivers that take care of their loved one 24 7. Because, like I said, it's not a part time job. It's a labor of love, but Ingram's fight to help the caregivers and those affected by Alzheimer's is what gives her hope for what's to come of this. It cost a lot of time, it cost a lot of money. Blood, sweat, and tears is what it takes to take care of this disease. Holly and dozens of other Alzheimer's advocates in Tennessee plan to meet with about 100 state lawmakers tomorrow. They hope to convince them that the legislation is desperately needed for Alzheimer's patients and their families. Live in the studio, Caitlin McCarthy, Local 24 News.